driving the all new 2024 Chevy Trax. I recommended this vehicle for my neighbor and their teenage son. He seems to be loving and enjoying his. This is the first time I've gotten to take one out for a complete week. So we'll see if we feel as good about this Trax as does my teenage neighbor. And if you haven't already done so, take a moment to like and subscribe so you'll get our reviews every week when they come out. When the 2024 Chevy Trax was introduced to the market, one of the things that the engineers and the PR team said was this vehicle is bigger, has more technology, but Chevy has placed it in a position to make it more affordable with a starting price of $21,000 around there. It's a pretty affordable SUV. The one we have is the 2RX. It's the fourth out of five different models, second from the top. And our base MSRP is around $24,000. Now, fully loaded here, we're looking at a $27,000 SUV. Let's see if there's enough tech, safety, comfort, and convenience to justify this as one of the most well-balanced, affordable SUVs for 2024. The first thing you notice about this new Trax is the footprint. It's larger than the Trax that it's replacing. More room in the front seat, back seat, and cargo area. As you can see here, we made our weekly trip to the Costco for our necessary supplies, and the cargo area accepted it all. Wasn't very much room left, but enough for a college student or a small family. Ride quality is good. Fuel efficiency, promising. Performance, that's where it lacks a little bit. But I see this tracks competing with the likes of the Nissan Rogue, the Toyota Corolla Cross introduced new in 2024, and possibly the Honda HRV. It competes in size and fuel efficiency. One thing I'm glad Chevrolet did keep it is Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which both sync wirelessly. Some of the other Chevy models have done away with that with the new infotainment system. But I think in the price and the category of this vehicle with younger buyers, it's a smart move to keep this Apple CarPlay and Android Auto in here. While we're on technology, the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto both sync wirelessly to the infotainment system. There's a wireless Qi charger here, as well as a USB-C fast charger and a standard USB charger. You do also have a 12 volt outlet here for those of you who maybe have some old technology that you wanna plug in to this Trax. There are safety features like auto dimming headlights, and you also have lane keep assist, lane departure warning, and accident avoidance. And as you can see, there is an 11 inch infotainment system here with all of my features from my Apple CarPlay. You also have an eight inch instrument cluster that's changeable and you can make this look the way you want it just by making adjustments here on the steering wheel. Speaking of the steering wheel, here's how we control our cruise control. We have heated steering wheel as well as accident avoidance that you could turn on right here. On this side, it's where you can answer and end phone calls, change your radio stations, and your volume controls are here on the back of the steering wheel. For comfort and convenience, we do have an automatic climate control that regulates the temperature in the cabin. They're not dual climate controls, so everybody in here has to be at the same temperature. But there are heated seats for both front seat passengers. Second row passengers, yep, they have to abide by the same temperature as the front row. There are two USB-C fast chargers back there though, even though there are no AC vents. This RS version, one step from the top, is pretty sporty in here. I like the accents here on the seat and the RS stitched right here into the headrest. There's also a bit of a red theme coming across the dashboard. Gives it a sporty effect to it. Chevrolet has put decent little cubbies in here for things you want to carry along. The wireless charger there, a little space for things you need here. There are also little small compartments in both front doors that give you places to put little things you want to keep around. One advantage that this Trax has over the Toyota, the Honda, and the Nissan in my book is it still comes standard with an automatic transmission. The six-speed transmission is made it to an Ecotec 1.2 liter turbo. While that sounds pretty small, it's not bad in rush hour traffic. And whenever we're considering an SUV, no matter the size, the cargo area is going to be important. I love the fact that they have a cargo cover. Then there's decent room behind this second row. It folds down 60-40 split, so you can carry multiple passengers if you have big items. This RS is distinguishable from the regular tracks by the blacked out grille, 
the black Chevy emblem and the RS logo there. Ours also has the upgraded 19 inch wheels. I even kind of like this sporty flat bottom steering wheel on these tracks. Well, if you're looking for a vehicle that fits your family's need or your new driver, this tracks should be on your list. With a starting price of $20,000 for the tracks and ours all gussied up at $27,000, I still say it's quite a bargain for a first time driver.